What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Eternal Evolution. So I might have done 30 more summons uh, to get some bonus rewards, and it just so happens we pulled two Emmas in those 30. I wish we would have uh, recorded that, and therefore I went through and I went and I got a second uh, one of these this week. We should be back, able to get back up to 80 because we're going to be doing a couple types of purchases in the next couple weeks. Very not expensive ones whatsoever um the one we're mainly going to be doing is going to be i believe this one here um this one alone is going to get us like another 40 or so plus we'll have the end of week stuff we're going to get a lot of them from the whatchamacallit ancient altar uh pvp and all that stuff that should be resetting so we should be able to get to 80 next week no problem and that's going to give us more copies so therefore if we take a look at the hero evolution we've actually got her way up here we got the free copy uh that came where was it up here and then on top of that we're actually going to get one more copy from the elite chapter in three days because we should be able to get up to 65 no problem that should be nice and simple so we're going to take her into some game modes we've kind of built her up pretty strong she's legendary three right now her talents we got all the talents pretty much down to the very last tier uh and her exclusive is all the way up to uh level 20 so that's really really awesome now here's the thing we also are running uh, crit gloves just to make sure we have super high crit rate and we're using it on the crit damage set just because that's kind of just the best we've got right now. So we're running a crit damage rate, a crit rate set and an attack set. I'm tempted to run even more crit rate over the attack, but like these are just really good that I have on her right now. It's just the best gear that we have our kind of hands on. Uh, we could take her up even higher. She's going to be our main damage dealer overall. I do need to make sure... Our other heroes are still geared up and I didn't steal anything from them. I think they're still all good from the looks of it. I want to get everybody up to 155 on the account as the next thing. So one, two, three, almost. We almost get the whole account up to 155. She's up to 160 because she's going to become our new damage dealer. We're still going to be running our Emma as well. I think what's going to happen though... When we're running a tank, we're basically going to be sending our Omar, which isn't the worst thing in the world, honestly. If anything, we should probably start using Taylor. Man, actually, we should probably be using Taylor more than you. Man, I kind of just thought of that. Might want to switch the gear around. We'll see. He's in, like, the full attack mode right now. Um, not a super high crit rate, and on top of that, he's not running. Oh, wait, he is running a crit rate, which is cool. Okay, that's fine. We'll leave it as that. Uh, now, when we're using this hero, we need to consider what commander we're using. Because previously, what we were running was this one here, and we're not going to be doing as much AoE damage. So, as good as air support is, we might want to start running another hero. Again, where this one's not going to be big for Emma, I don't think. In reality, I don't know which one we should be doing. This is probably, the Thunderstrike's probably really good for her and the new hero as well right this new one right here for every three base attacks made by allied heroes on the same target trigger the effect inflict 300 percent. and then this one's here uh when there are three or more hunter heroes deployed uh one for every five basic attacks allied hit range hero so i think like this is the one we're going to be using mainly we got some good like plus attacks ex attacks so that's kind of cool i think that's gonna be the one so here's what we're gonna do we're going to go, yep, yeah, collect, thank you. I got a level 160 hero. Awesome, awesome. We've been kind of stuck on the Dessa Caves right here. We even need to go back and get a bunch of uh, these guys. So let's see if we can make some progress. Because, of course, we were previously stuck at that point. I think what we're going to be doing is swapping these heroes out like this. I think we're also going to be swapping over to this target here. I want to run, I think, crit rate. So we're getting... 14% more crit rate. That's awesome. We'll take that. I, I have an option to get another item here. I don't know which one of these support items I, is best for our team, so we'll have to wait. But we have our healer. We have all that set up. I think we're good. Let's just go in. We're going to do one attempt. I think we're going to be fine even just doing this automatically. Like I said, with our previous team before Emma, we were stuck. There was no way for us to beat the timer. And I'm interested to see what adding Taylor and Emma does to this mix right here. They're probably going to be the top two damage dealers. Emma by far has to be, I imagine. Um, 
She's also additional hits, which is going to break through this shield faster as well, I feel like. And we'll see how this actually turns out. I don't know if we can beat the timer. I feel like adding Emma is going to give us a ton of... Oh my god. <laughs> Emma is like just seriously the best pure DPS hero in the game. You'd be stupid not to go for it. I was about to be stupid waiting for Leo. Uh, if Leo was, you know... Man, I don't know. Emma just does so much damage. It's crazy. And the fact that you get an active every time he goes into this mode is just ridiculous ridiculous these actives pop here and just watch this health bar this is before the actives where my mouse is the actives are going the actives are going art oh my god we're just killing straight through it that is disgusting oh my god oh taylor not even close to keeping up but holy cow 11.9 million damage so yep we'll get these limited recruit cards back by investing into this emma so let's try pushing content now because if we can start grinding that uh, legendary gear that would be absolutely perfect uh the question is is there going to be too much damage incoming if we have to we could drop one of our dps which honestly is actually her at this point wow she has carried her ravenia has carried her count very far i mean we're still going to use her a lot on aoe battles but like single target bosses this is just going to be insane it looks like because we keep getting actives with our uh, Serena, she just she's able to top us off, and good lord, do not, do not, do. I, I even made the color in the background her color, that night like, tealish green color, because she is ridiculously strong right here, like ridiculous. Such a oh my, it's just granted, of course, it's the difference between like you know a mythic versus uh, legendary or whatever, but still, <laughs> still uh this is just for crazy amounts of damage we should be fine breaking through this i think we'll be right on timer to get those limited uh recruitment cards oh i can't wait to get more copies and get her all the way up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on getting all of our heroes just up to um immortal we're not gonna worry about going all the way up to immortal five it takes way too many copies you'll get more copies of these heroes as time goes on just getting them all to immortal i think is like the goal for us uh yeah this is going swimmingly right here <laughs> this is crazy they even got their ability off before so they're gonna be able to do back-to-back -back actives my goodness Ravenia, I feel like you're just useless now. And just moving completely to a Hunter account is what this goes. We went from Energy, now we're going to Hunter. And it is not, I mean, we might even be able to do the next level too. This is giving us some gear. Sadly, any, I feel like any like gauntlet without like crit damage or crit chance on it is just like useless to us. Uh, we can see if we can go even further. I mean, that would be nice to get some better tank gear as well. Although, oh, look at that. You don't. We got all these rewards, right? The only one we're still going to struggle on because we don't have melee heroes is going to be the Terra Dome over here. But what this means is now we can farm this one for more gear. We should be able to clear this one out as well. Like, without much difficulty at all. As long as we can take the damage and Serena can keep us going. Um... Because this is going to help us. This is one you should be pushing constantly because the most important thing is getting not just like the right set pieces of gear, but the right rolls on the gear. Even the main one, like making sure, I think it's what, uh, is it boots or pants that has damage reduction on it? You want that on there? I think it might be boots. I can't remember. Um, ooh, that was kind of close. Oh, wait, there's an additional summon at this difficulty that looks like he heals? That's interesting. Didn't know that was a thing. Interesting. Well, that's definitely going to make it so we're not going to be able to beat the timer right now. Because <laughs> we're pretty much just focusing single target damage here. Now, does he summon one every time so if you don't take care of them, it gets even worse? It looks like Ravenia is kind of doing her job taking care of both targets either way so long as we can smash this we can do like so many more gear upgrades here it shouldn't be a problem it just depends on if serena can keep us going and taylor's like still number two but he is so far behind the emma i think we have him with all his skills and everything he's literally just like one behind 
Oh, it's starting to be a lot of damage coming in. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to do this one. If anything, maybe dropping like Taylor and running a second healer will be the way to go with this one because it seems like Serena's just not able to get enough actives off in between to keep the team alive. Yeah, it's not quite enough. So we'll have to come back to that some other time. Um, I'm hoping what this is, is it like once you clear it, you can farm two pieces of gear potentially instead of like zero to one. It goes to zero to two. That would be really, really cool. But holy cow, guys, if you have not already built Emma, build her. Oh, I left one attempt here because again, this we've only been able to do level one here. I want to see if we can push to level two now. Uh, drop you off, put you in think that's the way to go and then of course we need to change this over to you assign right back in middle rows get the bonuses which is cool we'll just put you in the front for right now i want to run the crit rate so that she gets tons of crit chance yep, yep 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 okay let's see let's see can we are we tanky enough are we strong enough now with the addition of emma before we were just not going to have enough damage to to beat the timer and it looks like the the damage is not going to be an issue survivability does seem to be potentially the issue so maybe dropping ravenia and running just another like we don't have a really good support to use but it's probably better than nothing at this point i guess maybe kind of more healing that is if he doesn't get one shot in this spot either because i think emma and taylor should be enough damage honestly I guess there is some RNG depending on what heroes get hit. Oh, they're losing a lot of HP here. Uh, is that this attack here? Uh, yeah, we need more summons. <laughs> Literally, if we had some summon heroes, that would completely solve our issue on this wave here. Yeah, because we're going to slowly start losing heroes just because we don't have the summons to split the damage and everything, I think, right? Shared by all units. Yeah, the more summons you have, the better. This is not going to work good for us. <laughs> yep. So not quite. This is not even though Emma's good at single target damage, you need to be able to absorb that damage. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm loving Emma so far. Absolutely amazing hero. Definitely get her and pump her up as far as possible if you're playing, especially free to play in the early game. But remember, again, we'll be making a full guide about this. Try to make sure you can get 80 summons in week three. We only have like two and a half days left on this one uh you want to be able to get to three trust me it's what you want you'll get tons more of these uh these genes here so hopefully you guys enjoy this one emma is absolutely amazing i'll see you guys next time